What's going on guys? Welcome to your 34th Android tutorial. And what we're going to get into is some sprite sheets and using sprites and animation. As you can see here, we just have a little guy that's uh, jumping around the screen. And we're using a sprite sheet, which I'll explain what that is in a second. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've got a lot of requests for like game uh, tutorials or game development tutorials and how to do sprite sheets. Um, so that's why we're kind of doing this now, and it might be a little bit confusing for you brand new programmers, but uh, I'll recover this topic once we start the Android or the Java uh, game development series. But as for now, I just want to show you guys um, so you can start working on, on your sprite sheets and stuff like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import or add a, a ping file again uh, called sprite sheet, all lowercase, into our resources. And what a sprite sheet allows us to do is cut out a portion of it for each frame of our animation. So um, that way we can have one picture and we can just cut out the section that we need for that specific frame and all that good stuff. The way I created this, obviously it took me a while as you can see the graphic detail that I put into this. Um, but I created basically one image and it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels and then another image and I put those images together so each chunk is 64 pixels by 64 so that would be what 256 um, across and 256 down so if you guys want create one of those or just the image to work with for now or you can uh, I'll put this on the website eventually once I update the website and you guys can download this one and use that as well so let's get into it uh, what we're first gonna do is we're gonna set up a sprite class. So we're just going to again go new class and we're going to call this sprite. Hit finish. We're also going to work with our surface view example class again as well. What we're going to set up here is just basically the foundation. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the new variables that we'll need for our sprite animation. One is going to be of the type sprite, that class that we just created, and we're just going to call this sprite and we also have another one that is going to be our bitmap image that I just showed you and so we're just going to include a new bitmap in here as well and we're going to call this um, blob something like that uh, because I'm not exactly sure what I was going for in that sprite animation but we're just going to call it blob now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our resources so I'm just going to copy this ball bitmap um, that we set up previously paste it because again we're just decoding the resource um, I'm not really going to explain this, but again, it's going to be the sprite sheet that we just included that I just showed you guys as well. Um, and that is going to be set equal to the blob PNG. So now that we've decoded the blob PNG, we also want to set up a sprite. And now we're going to scroll down to our view class down here. Um, and this is where we're going to set up the construction of our sprite that we just uh, created. So what we're going to say is we're going to say sprite and again we don't know the constructor of the sprite yet um, but we can get to that in the next tutorial um, but just to give you a hint it's going to take two parameters so we're going to say new sprite and uh, we're going to say this which is going to refer to our view and we're also going to pass in the, um, the bitmap so we're going to pass in blob as well and right now this doesn't make any sense because again we don't have a constructor that takes in two parameters for sprite class yet but you know it's all good it's gonna work out and I'm sorry I forgot that we established the sprite variable up there so we're just gonna do that within our constructor of our view class here so again this gets called first so we're just gonna you know set up our sprite construction here and again like I said it's giving us an error because we don't have a constructor that takes two parameters um, but for now that's what all we're gonna do the last thing we're gonna do within this our view um, our surface view example class is we're going to change the way that it draws to our canvas again within our thread we have this run and we lock the canvas we draw the background also draw that ball bitmap and then we unlock and post all we're going to do is we're going to cut out this line of code here and we're going to create a new method called on draw and it's going to take a certain type of uh, canvas so we're going to give it the canvas C here um, again the canvas that we're doing and this is where we're going to do all our drawing methods so we're going to set up a new uh, method called on draw and again it takes in a canvas and we're going to give it again the example C or even canvas something like that 
and it's giving us an error right now. Um, again, we're going to say void because it's not returning anything. It's actually drawing. Uh, and it also is giving us an error because it needs to be protected because um, it just has to be. So we're just going to we're going to say protected. I uh, don't want to get you guys too confused with that. Um, we're doing a lot of things, and if you guys do get confused, don't worry. Hopefully, it'll make sense. Um, if not, that's cool too. Uh, especially for you brand new programmers, probably just skip this tutorial in the next one, um, and don't worry about sprites for for a while <laughs> um, until you're a little bit more comfortable with Java and Android. And now what we're doing is we're taking the canvas that's being passed in. Again, we renamed it called Canvas here. So when we work within here, we're just going to say Canvas. And then we're also going to create our sprite. And how we're going to do that is we're going to refer to our sprite um, object that we created. Again, this is of the sprite class. We're just going to say dot on draw. And we're also going to pass in the canvas that we want it to draw to. Again, essentially this will be C uh, because again here's our C canvas that we lock and then we call this on draw method we pass in the canvas that we locked which we rename canvas here and uh, and then we draw our background draw all that stuff then we have the sprite that we created again just thinking about the Java if you guys are new programmers and you're like what, what's going on here uh, what this is this is again a, an instance of our sprite class and within our sprite class, we need to create a method called onDraw that takes a canvas um, within its parameter. Uh, so those, that's just what you need to keep in mind. Again, it's giving us an error right now because we don't have a draw method within our sprite class. As you can see, it's empty here. Um, and right now, again, we're getting a lot of errors. Probably confusing you guys because none of these methods are doing anything and uh, besides decoding the resource for the blob. But we'll get to that when it comes. So. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the next tutorial. Otherwise, you're just going to be com completely confused at what we just did here. In the next tutorial, we're going to define our sprite class and get that working. So thanks again for watching, guys, and have a good one.